I've spent hours exploring the new draft mode in Midjourney version 7, and I've learned a lot. Let me show you what it really does and how to use it. I've got a Woodle breakdown and some cool examples coming up. Trust me, it's pretty amazing once you get it. Stay tuned. Let me show you the entire process using a simple visual diagram. First, imagine an empty area or a blank canvas. Place various objects on this area, one after the other. For example, the house, the trees, then the mountain. Let's add a person and finally we'll add the clouds. When you are satisfied with this arrangement, simply click on Enhance. Midjourney will then create four regular images as usual, from which you can select one via upscale. By doing so, you have created the perfect image through an iterative process. Let me now show you an example so that you can see how easily it works. If you want to use draft mode, you have to change your approach slightly. I'll now click on the microphone icon at the top here and say, a table with two chairs. Always remember to switch off the microphone again after the prompt input. Here you can see the first result. This is, so to speak, the basic arrangement described above on which we are building. Next, I activate the microphone again and say, put two cups of tea on the table. We are still in draft mode. We can see this from the red marker on the prompt. And then add a person on the left chair. This tells Midjourney to add more details to the picture. When we evaluate the images, Midjourney has so far followed my voice input exactly. Put a flower on the table. I now fill or refine the scenery according to my own ideas. Let me try something else. Change the lighting to neon green, and that also works without any problems. And then remove the shoes from the person. You'll be amazed at how precisely Midjourney works, just so you understand. I'm not entering a prompt here, but speaking exclusively via the microphone. Let's see if that also works backwards. Change the lighting situation from green neon light to a soft golden hour. Very inspiring. All the previous details are still there. The table, the chairs, the bare feet, the teacups, the flowers. Add a plate of potato chips and sweets to the table. That also worked wonderfully. Really impressive. The entire iterative process leaves plenty of room for trial and error. If we look back again, we define a framework at the beginning, a basic structure, if you will, and gradually refine the entire project. If I now click on Enhance, Midjourney uses the latest prompt and removes the word draft from the command line. This process now creates the, in quotation marks, better images as usual, which I can modify further. What also speaks in favour of the draft mode is the speed. I don't really need high resolution images for the design phase. It's all about the basic content of the prompt. If I then enlarge one of these images, I have the perfect result again. Speaking as a designer, this is an extremely attractive process. The end result again has all the refinements and subtleties that we are familiar with from Midjourney. Lots of details, blurring and a very nice lighting effect. You can of course download it as usual. If you want to work with it, just adjust the thought process a little. Then you can achieve really great results. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know. <laughs>